Hi Pancasters and welcome back. Today we have Amit and Rapendra back to discuss some updates in Prisma Access and specifically how it is designed as a modular service. Welcome back Amit and Rapendra. So how does Prisma Access deliver a modular service? Hello and thanks for having us back. Prisma Access helps deliver consistent security to remote networks and mobile users. Irrespective of where you are, Prisma Access will allow customers to safely access the internet, SaaS applications, and data center resources. This service is built to be scalable and modular. The Lego blocks that build these services are Prisma Access infrastructure elements like remote networks, mobile users, and service connections, all of which are virtual. We also have an explicit proxy deployment with a node type called Swig or Secure Web Gateway. These virtual instances other than the service connections are security processing nodes. These modular entities help customers build their infrastructure and make Prisma Access a highly modular service. It is also important to note that all security processing nodes need an egress public IP to access the internet. Why did you come up with a new type of architecture? What were the main concerns from the existing Prisma Access deployments that led to the new solution? In our existing Prisma Access deployment, by default, we assign a pool of public IP addresses for the customer deployment. These IPs are owned by Palo Alto Networks. However, as we auto scale out and in, more security processing nodes come up, go down, and more public IP addresses will be allocated or unallocated automatically. These IP addresses need to be allow listed or removed from customers' SaaS and private applications on the spot for seamless access. We do provide APIs and webhooks to obtain these IP addresses, but this may not be sufficient for smooth network operations. This is one of the main reasons that uh, we have come up with IP optimization. I see. And why is this so important? Any new allocation, unallocation, or reallocation may result in operational overhead, such as reconfiguring the allow list in customers and their stakeholders' systems. Such situations have resulted in compliance risk, heavy communications, as well as unwanted costs. Some of our customers have to execute a project just for allow listing IPs. So how does the NGPA approach help? Can you give us a scenario that it applies to and what does it entail? Next Generation Prisma Access NGPA or IP Optimized Prisma Access, and uh, we're going to use these terms interchangeably throughout this podcast, is a feature that can be used by Prisma Access customers by checking the IP optimization checkbox on their Panorama or SEM Managed Prisma Access tenant. More than one mobile user gateway in a region triggers a pair of NAT gateways to be deployed that will egress traffic in the region. All scheduled or autoscale gateways in the region will now use this NAT gateway to egress traffic to the internet. At the same time, this spins up a load balancer that will load balance traffic from the user to the mobile user gateways in the region. So in essence, the mobile user gateways in a region will see load balance traffic coming in from end users This traffic will be processed by the mobile user gateway and sent to the NAT device where it egresses to the internet. This is where the traffic gets NATed to the egress IP on the NAT device. What this means is that the customer will need to whitelist just these NAT gateway egress IPs with their service providers. However, for deployments that have only one mobile user gateway, the load balancer and the egress NAT devices are completely irrelevant. This feature will kick in only when you have more than one mobile user gateway. With just one mobile user gateway, you don't really need a NAT device or a load balancer. Now that we know how it's implemented, what benefits does your user see after deploying Prisma Access in the MGPA architecture? Besides addressing all the concerns customers have on compliance, communications, and change management, such as uh, IP address allow listing, One of the most important benefits of NGPA is that it improves resilience. What that means is if the customer traffic gets disrupted, for example, due to unexpected failure of a Prisma access security processing, the customer connection is seamlessly recovered and the end customer will not see any service disruptions. We have also built 
plus reason resilience, which comes out of the box. So even in an extremely rare case where a whole Prisma Access reason may have an outage, the customer experience will not get impacted. And now, because of NGPA, we have a capability to achieve a seamless product upgrade. For a customer to adopt these services, what are the challenges to be aware of? What would be the path for existing Prisma Access customers? NGPA is still very new. Even though we have successfully deployed this architecture for several large customers already, I would say that there are two challenges for our brownfield customers that are already running classical Prisma Access. The first one is that this requires a migration operational downtime window, which may be difficult for customers to get given the fact that Prisma Access is already a mission critical service for most of our customers. Secondly, because the customers most probably have IP allow listed IP addresses across multiple SaaS products, they will need to coordinate with their SaaS providers to update the IP allow list. Given that these challenges are present, we recommend customers to test this feature in their staging environments and plan adequately before deploying NGPA in their production environments. Great. So anything else coming up with Prisma Access? Any more new capabilities that customers can take advantage of? few points I would like to highlight. First, we have recently made NGPA as the default architecture for our Greenfield customers. Our partners and customers need to be aware about this during onboarding. Then, given that IPv4 supply is really low, we have been working on end-to-end -end support of IPv6, which some of our major customers and service providers have requested. Finally, as an extension of NGPA, we are working on High Performance Remote Networks Access, or RNHP. This RNHP provides 2 gigabps bandwidth for a single site security processing. We want to provide up to 5 gigabps bandwidth with a single remote network service IP address. This also helps in IP optimization. Thanks again, Amit and Naprendra. What would be the key takeaways for today's episode? IP optimization is the next generation of Prisma Access solution and will optimize public IPv4 address usage for all our customers. We have already rolled out NGPA and we are running it for large scale customers. We would like to tell all our customers to take advantage of this feature and make their network security operations simpler, efficient, and more effective. There are no licensing fees to take advantage of NGPA as well as high performance remote networks access. We hope these are instantly useful for our customers. Pancasters, as always, you can find the transcript and additional info at live.paloaltonetworks.com.